Hi friends, welcome back to Arc Tutorials. This is Angular 10 complete tutorial playlist for absolute beginners. We are continuing to learn about reactive forms and in today's episode we will learn how to track value changes for a particular form control or the entire form. This is absolutely one of the most used functionality I would say because you will if you are working in any enterprise level application chances are the forms are complicated and in those complex logic you will have to capture data dynamically what is entered by the user based on that some selection will change based on that some values will change etc so it's important that you learn how to track those value changes and use them in your application this is part 67 of the angular 10 complete tutorial playlist I have planned around 100 plus tutorials in this particular series. Make sure that you follow all the tutorials so that you can learn and master Angular with me. Following are the topics I have covered from scratch, from zero, ground zero, two most advanced topics. This is the series. If you really want to learn and master Angular, please go through them. Um, you know, the more you go through them, the more it will be um, better for you. You can practice hands on with me. All right, that being said, I have covered totally 66 episodes so far. This is the 67th episode. Today we are learning how to track the value changes in the reactive form. A quick note of introduction on reactive forms. There are two types of forms in Angular. One is template driven form. One is reactive form. Reactive forms to work with reactive forms. The most important thing is to import reactive forms module into your app module or any module wherever your component is when you work with reactive forms you'll find yourself using form group form control form array and form builder most often remember that angular provides state information of form at all times that means angular knows and we we can extract that state of the form at any given point of time I've covered the states in the previous episode, so make sure that you have, you have gone through all the previous episodes in order to learn and master Angular forms. All right, so today we are talking about tracking value changes. Value changes is yet another important property of forms or form controls. That way we can extract dynamically the data that is being entered or changed by the user. Remember that Unlike other methods we have seen for forms, value changes will always return an observable, which means we need to subscribe to that value. Value changes is a property in abstract control, right? Which means value changes will emit an event every time there is a change, right? So the syntax is you'll write dot method, which is value changes, and then you'll subscribe to it. Now remember, that we can either subscribe the entire form or we can subscribe to a certain given form control anyway right we can use any of the two ways either you can listen and changes for the entire form or to a particular control I'm going to show you both in the hands-on series now let's get started so this is the application so what we are going to do um, so what we are going to say is whenever there is some changes that happens right uh, we are going to track it right so we can say ng on right so what we can do is let's put something here and say whenever there is a change in value right so i'm going to say let's implement an interface here changes right so that's something that I'm importing. I'm saying on change, right? So that's the method we will implement, which is ng on changes. Now what needs to be done, right? So let's do a simple first console log and say value changed. So what this will do is it will just tell you that the value changed or not. That's the first step. Simple. Start with very basic, uh, simple things. See, the idea here always is to learn step by step. Don't jump the gun. Now, I'll enter some value, right? Now, what we want is we want some value changes, but we it's not here. So instead, I'm going to say here, I'll say track loan name, right? 
so I'm going to remove this we don't need that I'll do that later with drop down first I'm going to just put here on blur okay that's the simplest use case you can do you on blur or on key up right you might want to do something like this in autocomplete right so there is there are different use cases where you can uh, use it so let's again try this so now you see it is saying value changed 11 times because I entered 11 uh, times that was key up event was tracked 11 times and there is a value change right so that's how we know that value is changing so how do we subscribe to that value and how do we uh, get it um, how do we read the value right so those are the two important things that we'll have to track now so let's get started with that so for that it's pretty simple so what you can do is first let's just output what is coming in the changes so you'll notice what is the changes you're getting and you will be so it says undefined because we are not using simple changes now we are just using the value okay so instead I'm going to say this dot add form dot value changes right now I said this is a subscribe right so we'll have to it's an observable so we'll subscribe to that and I'm going to console log the data now some suggest that we use this in the um, ng on in it there also we can use it there is no um, you know um, like restriction of where you can use or what is the use case you want to use um, whichever use case we try that's fine as long as it suits your requirement right the idea is to know how to capture the value changes now let's see now you see it is printing the entire form and it is giving the data which is changing here in the loan name you see it is showing all the values even to make it even better I will enter one by one see here it says W E and then L C O M E right so it is tracking all the changes that are happening in the form the entire form right now this way you can check if the form data has changed or it got updated on any any uh, field for that matter now see here I will now enter it in the loan type now it is updating the loan type right so in the form if any form control value changes value changes will be triggered for that particular form remember that that's easy way right but what happens is you will not do that on form most of the times in most practical ways you would do something like this and you can do get and maybe control name say loan name dot value changes dot subscribe okay now what I'm doing I'm just capturing the changes that are happening for a single form control so there are two ways either you can listen and capture the entire form or you can just capture a particular form control in this case the form control name is loan name and that's what I'm tracking the changes for right let's go ahead and check this so you see only the values for that particular form control are getting captured because it's checking what are the values that are changing now you can apply the same to form control any type it can be an input type description select drop down option radio etc now you might want to consider to moving this to ng on init that's also fine if you want to do that right there is no hard and fast rule where it can be all you should know is if you trigger a change you can capture that value right either in loan name loan description in this case give go ahead put any form control name that you are using and you can easily capture the value changes for our friends who want to use reactive uh, rxjs controls you can still do that if I want to rewrite this using rxjs I would do something like this and say dot again form 
control name dot value changes and I will say dot pipe and then you can write dot map and you can write your data that you want to capture and process the data right so this is how you can use if you are using RxJS so either way it's the same behavior of it right now that being said um, that's that's the two things that you should know about uh, the capturing value changes which is either you can control this the entire form or you can just control a single form control which is pass the control name dot value changes subscribe to the data change I hope it's clear to you if it's not let me know in the comment section I'll be more than happy to help you further in the next episode I will show you on the similar lines there is something called status changes like how we are able to track the value changes we can also track the entire form for the status change now I told you forms go through different states right it can have different status like touched dirty pristine valid invalid etc so we can get that value at runtime that's what we are going to learn in the next episode so join me in the next episode if you like my tutorial please do consider buying me a coffee at buymeacoffee.com slash arc tutorials please don't forget to subscribe to my channel like the video and share it with your friends and colleagues thank you for joining